Let me see your hands. Come on. Put the drop the knife. No. Nope. Drop the knife. Nope. Intense moments show what led up to a deadly officer-involved shooting when a suspect refused to drop his knife. The incident happened on March 4th in Frederick, Maryland, about an hour west of Baltimore. Officers there were searching for 44-year-old Joseph Shirell, who had a warrant out for violating probation. It's Frederick Police. The Maryland Office of the Attorney General released this body camera video following the shooting. The video opens with officers speaking to Sherelle's ex-wife. She says he's not inside her home. Hello. What's going on? Why is that in front of the door? Because <coughs> my ex-husband had an ex parte against him. Who's that? Joseph Sherelle. Is he here? No, I always keep that in front of the door. Y'all were here the other night. Were we? Was he here the other night? No, he was not. Okay. Officers tell the woman they received a tip from neighbors that Sherelle is inside her home. Why would somebody call and said he's here? Well, he's not here. Okay. And, and I'm sure it is his baby's mother because I had a protective order and I had custody of the kid. I'm so sick of her. I'm so sick and tired of all of this bull crap. Sherelle's ex-wife says she's recently been visited by other officers also looking for him. He was not, he's not here. Okay. He was here. I put him out. I keep this in front of the door so that I don't have this problem of people coming here in the middle of the night, in the middle of the day. And I, I had to get my well, keys If he's out. not here, then we'll be gone. Well, I just don't think that it's right that you're, you're in, like, whoever's calling you, tell them to come here. He's not here. The woman continues to maintain her ex-husband is not inside her home, saying he's recently been seen at area hotels. Well, somebody called us. We didn't just show okay, up here out of the sky. Okay, well, I'm not here. I'm, I'm sick as a dog. I've been sick for three weeks over this whole effing thing. He's out running around with some chick. The last I knew, he was at the Hampton Inn up on Opossum Town Pike. They were staying at the Motel 6. I, I'm telling you, I am so sick of all the bull crap with him. Like, I'm not having him here. Officers continue to press the woman, asking whether they can come inside. So we can't come in and make sure he's not here? No, because I'm, I'm, I'm not, first of all, I don't have any pants on. You I, do have pants I, on. I do not have pants on. I just put my pants on because I'm in bed. <laughs> you have jeans on. I understand. Okay. That. I am in bed. I'm sick as a dog. I'm sleeping. His girl, baby's mom has the kids. He is not here. You okay. go to those hotels and look for him. Those are the two last places that I heard that he was staying with her. Eventually, officers say they believe Sherelle is inside the home, as his ex-wife maintains he's not there. What do you need to come in for? There's no protection. To make sure he's not here, because he's not supposed to be here. What do you mean he's not supposed to be here? There is no protective order. It was dropped. It was dropped? Yes. Okay. So then we should be able to come in and take a look and make sure he's not well, here. I don't understand. you. Because we have a summons I for him. You have a what? A summons. Just a piece of paper okay, we have to hand I him. And I gave that to him. That came in my mail the other day. Okay, well, we have to hand deliver it to him. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Go to the Hampton Inn. I'm I don't think he's at the Hampton Inn. I think he's here. I'm telling you he's not here. So then why don't we come in and take a look? I'm telling you because I'm not letting you, you. I don't trust you guys. It's then that police say the woman could be arrested if she's lying to them. So if I find out he's here. Okay. And you're lying to me. Okay. 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 I'm going to arrest you. Okay, that's fine. Okay. He's not here. Okay. He's so just so as long as you're okay with okay, being arrested. I'm okay with that. You're okay with that? He's not here. All right, so you guys both can go to jail then. Okay. All right? I'm, I'm not going to argue with you. He is not here. So then let us come in and take a look. <laughs> After that, she allows officers inside. Hi, puppy. Come here, dog. Luna, come here. Come on, Luna. What's her name? Luna? Luna? Luna. Officers can be heard calling out for Sherelle, who does not answer. Joseph, if you're here, let us know now. I'm telling you, this is all fucking dirty laundry. I'm moving. Get shoveling. While searching through one of the rooms, officers come face to face with Sherelle. Let me see your hands. Come on. Put them. Drop the knife. No. Nope. Drop the knife. Nope. Drop the knife. You have to shoot me. No. Drop the knife. No. 
Body camera video shows officers backing out of the room, working to bring Sherelle's ex-wife out of the situation. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Out of the way, man. Shoot, drop the knife, sir. 62, give us some more units. Come back over here. No, stop no I'm not it. having you come with the knife. Stop, stop touching me. Sherelle approaches officers saying, quote, I'm not going to jail. After that, officers open fire inside the home. Hey, drop the knife. Drive the knife. Are you watching him? Yes. He's right there. Hey, 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 drop the knife. Hey. Another officer's body camera video shows the shooting from a different angle. Are you watching him? Yeah, from this angle. He's right there. Hey, 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 drop the knife. Drop the knife. Two officers fired shots at Sherelle, who was later pronounced dead on the scene. Right now, an investigation into the deadly shooting is still underway. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.